Hi guys, Wolf Void here with another video and I just want to take a couple of minutes of your time to let you know about a few of the important button commands in Battlefield 4 and some things that have changed since Battlefield 3. Ok, let's begin. As you can see, the scoreboard's now been moved into the pause menu and there doesn't actually seem to be a large map anywhere in this menu. So what we have to do now is hold down the menu button. Holding that down, you can then scroll between the large map or the scoreboard by using the left bumper and the right bumper. There we go. You can see this is a lot easier to use and it leaves you a lot less vulnerable because you're still free to move around and obviously just let go of the start button to just drop the whole menu. It's also bigger than the minimap, which allows you to spot slightly further and see what you're running into, like that guy. Not available on the minimap, can't see him anymore. Let's see if I can find him and kill him. No problem, dead easy. Just remember, hold down the menu button. So now we need to talk about spotting, a very important function. You need to tap the right bumper to spot. This should become second nature hopefully. Here's the right bumper. Always spot, there's no excuse not to. It does help your team and it does help your aim, especially through smoke or debris. So aim at the red and kaboom, there you go. Help your team. Spot, spot, spot. So spot away guys. Make sure that you're always spotting and getting the red dots above the head so you can help with your headshots. It's easier. And also, as a squad leader, help your team by showing them which bases you want them to attack or defend. All you have to do is spot. Okay, moving on. If you're a squad leader, help your team if a commander is online. You can hold the right bumper and select certain commands or requests with the analog sticks. Request orders will give you more score for you and your team if you accept the order and fulfill it, of course. You can also request UAV scans, vehicle drops and even an ammunition supply drop. Finally, because I see it too often, holding down the trigger for full automatic fire won't get you that many kills. You'll probably miss more than anything. What you need to do is to switch to some sort of burst fire mode. Some guns actually have burst fire as an option on the D-pad, but generally aim down the sights and tap at the trigger. Your accuracy will be greatly improved and you'll also, if you keep your head, score a lot more kills. I hope this helps some people in some way. And this was Wolf Void, so please feel free to follow me to keep up with my videos. You won't see me on the battlefield, because hopefully I'll see you first.